Hey guys, it's Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming back in for another tip. It's been quite some time because of the uh, post family reunion fun going on right now. Everyone obviously jazzed and excited about all the new tools, especially that new app that just came out. All right, so finally got a chance to make a couple new tips on here. And the first one I want to talk about is one that's been out for a while, but it's just definitely one of those items that a lot of agents are asking about. All right, and that is what to do if all of a sudden you're trying to run a Facebook ad or maybe you're just trying to do a Facebook post and it's not allowing you to. All right, so in order to override this, there's a couple things you'll need to do. First thing first, I always like to go to my settings. So I'm going to click on my name, go to settings on here. All right, it's going to take me to the back end of the command settings that I can view right away and I can see everything that I currently have linked up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my Facebook post. I'm going to disconnect that. Awesome. And I'm going to scroll down to my Facebook ads. Typically it stays down here. For me, it doesn't pop up to the top. Uh, I haven't seen any ones that actually pops up to the top yet, but I'm going to disconnect that as well. So now I've got this disconnected. Now what a lot of people will actually do is once they disconnect it, then they'll reconnect it. Kind of the, the old school, you know, hey, is it not working? Try turning it off and turning it back on. Inevitably that works all the time. Well, in this case, there's going to be one extra step that we're going to do. All right, so obviously in order to actually post out on your Facebook, it has to be to a Facebook page that you're an admin of. And then obviously for the Facebook ads manager, we want to make sure that we have the ads capability on there. All right, now if we go under our Facebook account though, so I'm in the back of my Facebook account on here. All right, if I click on the little drop down arrow at the top right, then I can go to my settings, just my normal option under settings on here. All right, and when I go to Facebook settings, obviously you can just go to facebook.com slash settings as well. All right, but we're going to notice over here on the left-hand side, we have a bunch of different items we can take a look at, but we're going to have one called business integrations. So I'm going to click on business integrations on here. There we go. I was impatient and clicked on it twice. <laughs> all right, and once we actually click on that, it's going to show all the different active integrations that we currently have over on our Facebook account. And once this stops loading for me, hopefully it'll uh, pop up in a second. If not, I'm going to go ahead and refresh this, see if it comes up a little bit quicker. All right, but we'll actually see a Keller Williams API on here. All right, so I'm able to see all the different ones that I've actually added in over the past couple of years, even some all the way back to 2014 on here, geez. All right, but then I can actually go through and I can see, all right, here's the Keller Williams API. I can click the square on the right-hand side and then select Remove. All right, this is going to refresh our entire API access with the KW platform. All right, so once I remove that, I'll leave this as is. I'm just going to go and remove the access directly. Here we go. All right, perfect. It's been removed. We're good to go. So now I can go back. I've officially removed it from my settings. I don't know why I slurred that. I've officially removed it from my settings. I removed it from my business integration on Facebook. And now I can come back over here and I can re-add it. So I'm going to re-add my Facebook ad manager. And now it's going to ask, you know, Keller Williams API will receive your name and profile picture and email address. So I'm going to say continue. Perfect. I'm going to click OK. Awesome. So the ads account is good to go. And of course, I can always click on manage on here if I want to see what's linked up. And then if I pop up back over here under the Facebook account, I can click on connect as well. All right, and then it's going to pull up your pages that you can actually go from. All right, I'm going to have a couple different pages on here. Jeez Louise. All right, so I'm going to click on mine real quick on here. And I'll click connect. A couple pages might be an understatement. All right, so now I have that connected on here so I can start to utilize it. So that is the easiest way to actually go through and resync your Facebook accounts. So that way you can start to utilize it once again over here in the campaign section. So now when we actually start to go out and we create a paid ad or we create a social post, it should start to work for us right away because we can link it up with our page that we're utilizing. Now, the other big thing is remember, it's going to link up with your Facebook page, not your Facebook profile. That's the big thing on there. All right. So you have to make sure you have a Facebook page created. And if you don't have a Facebook page, no worries. It literally takes maybe 10 minutes. All right. If you go to facebook.com slash pages, all right, it'll actually allow you to create a brand new page on here immediately. All right, so I can come on here. I can click the option to create a page up here at the top right, and we're good to go. There you go. That's simple. All right, so that's how easy it is to refresh your 
API access for Keller Williams and relink that to your KDB command account. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.